did a fall planter a couple weeks ago, and today I wanted to let the pumpkins, which are out now for sale at Stokely, um, I wanted them to be like the showstopper and the star here. So I picked a few pumpkins and I want to put together a fall planter. Um, for this arrangement, we're going to use three pumpkins. You know, we, we love our odd numbers. Um, I'm still deciding between what's happening down here, but I got this nice, really bright orange pumpkin, a white one, and then we can let these work for us however we want. Um, and then I pulled a few plants as well. Um, just make sure you're getting plants that fit uh, the container. These will be your container that you're going to use. And um, let's do this. The very first thing you want to do is carve the pumpkin. So let's get started on that. All right, so we've got all of our pumpkins carved, everything's scooped out. Of course, you can leave that thick area, just scoop out all the seeds is really all you need to get out of there. And we're gonna get to planting here. You can see that I've kind of cut them wide open so that we can fit our plant in there. And when it's all said and done, we're gonna top it off with my favorite Spanish moss so it'll cover any areas that you feel like are exposed. All right, I'm gonna go with the big one first. This is a um, compacta holly. Um, Ilex Cronata Soft Touch is what it's called, but it comes in this little uh, one gallon container, which is great uh, because it's a good size to work with for a project like this. It's not the giant three gallon buckets. Um, we're gonna scarify the roots a little bit. We may have to actually cut them off a little bit just so that they'll fit in this container. Let's see, it's not bad. Maybe just a little bit will cut off. Um, so you guys will see that I've used sizes of pumpkins that will do well um, probably like on a tabletop. It doesn't have to be an arrangement of three. It could also be on your Thanksgiving table, a bunch of little ones that line the table and create that really pretty little accent that you need for that, that Thanksgiving table. All right, we're gonna go with the medium one now. This is um, sweet potato vine, and there's two different colors of sweet potato vine that grow well here. This kind of darker, I'm gonna toss this over to the side. Um, this darker maroon looking one, purpley color, or you've got the chartreuse green one that's nice too. Um, but this one will trail, which is nice. All right, I'm gonna shove that one in there. Okay, and then we're gonna go for a little baby one. I love this one because it looks like a watermelon almost. <laughs> so cute. I'm gonna throw a little bit of soil in there. And then you see I'm using ivy. You guys, you don't have to be super fally with the plants. I think that the pumpkins kind of speak for themselves as far as giving that really fall vibe that we're going for. Um, so you can put some plants, you can even pick plants that you were like going to use in the spring anyway for your new garden, because after this is all said and done, you can always go um, and take, pull these out and use them in your garden and not toss them out. And that way you're like really reusing or thinking ahead with your decorations on what you're going to be doing in your garden for next season. All right, we're going to top it off with a little bit of extra soil here. So just like that. And then I'm gonna top it off with a Spanish moss. And then after the Spanish moss is done, then we can um, kind of wipe everything down and clear off the sides so you don't have the dirt hanging down. And it's just gonna be such a cute little fall pumpkin decor, a way to use pumpkins in a little different way than you're used to seeing probably. So you just like pinch off little pieces. Spanish moss is super easy. You just like pull off pieces and shove them the places you need them. Just like that. And we'll do that all the way around. We'll get it cleaned up and that'll be that. All right, when you guys are finished with this project, because I know you're gonna wanna do this one, please send me photos. I wanna see your completed projects. You can get creative with the color of the pumpkins. They've got so many options out here at Stokely. They've got like the, um, what are they called, heirloom? This is an heirloom pumpkin. They've got the light green color and the cream. They've got so many really cool things. I even thought about using this one and slicing it down the side and using an oblong one. So get creative with it. Send me pictures, I wanna see them. Comment below, y'all.